Today's video is all about Lost Origin. We're going to talk about the Giratina. It's hit an interesting price point. We're going to talk about the other cards in the set and why I think this set has some absolutely massive potential. But before we do that, I want to talk about today's video sponsor and it's Pokey Notify which is a Discord server. And if you're anything like me, you've had a hard time picking up 151 product, maybe pre-ordering the Blooming Waters, getting the Prismatic Evolutions, uh, ETBs, anything. The product is just so hard to come by right now. And Pokey Notify is a Discord server that has these automatic notifications for restocks. It's very helpful for you guys if you're trying to find product. Like we got 151. This was just uh, like 30 minutes ago. We got the poster collection for 151 uh, in stock. And those are still available, I think, as of this recording, right? We got binders, like all of these notifications, you can do it by Prismatic. If you wanna just get Prismatic, you wanna see what's dropping on Amazon. They have a whole section just for Amazon. They're surging on here, right? So it's a really great way to stay notified on these restocks because the market is so crazy right now. It's kind of what you have to do. You know, if you gotta play the game. So Pokey Notify currently has a three-day free trial if you guys are interested in trying it out and there is a discount code in the description below they have so much in here um there's like look at all these it's not just us this is the us section right here we have canada there's uk right so from wherever you're from uh pokey notify is most likely going to be able to help you ebay deals there's buy sell trade it's a really great discord server so that is the sponsor of today's video but let's get back to the topic for a second so the Giratina, the price point that I brought up is actually PSA 10 pricing. And we're going to get to that in a second, but I just want to take a look at this real quick. So this just came off like 380 for a while. I said that 400, it's going to be a pretty big price point. Last sold was 420. So that's actually a pretty big price. Once it finally cracked into the 400s, if we zoom out to the one year and the big run up, it almost ran up to 500. This was the alt art run up that happened in May. A lot of the alternate arts were running, if you're not familiar. And then it came all the way back down to 320. And yeah, so getting up to that 400 level, it's gonna be pretty critical. But the PSA 10 pricing, this is what I wanted to bring up. The Giratina has cracked $1,000 in a PSA 10. These are last solds on eBay, 1,097, 1,000. Yes, there is one a little bit under, we got a 940 and 940, but then it's back up to 1,050, 1,200, this is a BGS 9.5, which by the way, this is probably a steal, whoever got this. Uh, if you're not familiar, a lot of the times, not all the time, because grading is pretty subjective, but a BGS 9.5, at least in my experience, I've cracked out a lot of BGS 9.5s, so they transfer over to PSA 10. So whoever bought this is gonna have a steal. It's gonna be some big profit for them. So yeah, the Giratina hitting $1,000, I think is kind of one of those psychological price points in a PSA 10, where I just think, I, not that it's going to happen very quickly, but when a set has a thousand dollar card, even if it's in a PSA 10, that takes it to a whole nother level. And we got booster boxes at market TCG player has them at 237, which is, let's see. Yeah. So this is the one year high. I had a big run up here and went in May, kind of around that same time as the alt art booms it ran up to 222. There was like a restock that came uh, back in. It wasn't a reprint, there was like a decent little restock and it tanked the price down back to 180 and it slowly climbed back up. Last sold is actually 248, 245, 244. So this is a really great set. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about why I like this as a set. Some of uh, some of these are, I don't think it's like a hot take, but we're gonna talk about cards that, some of them that aren't really talked about in the set, in my opinion. So we have also the, the ETB is doing really well. That's kind of how you know a set is doing well when the normal ETB starts to get this kind of growth as well, because these were dirt cheap. Uh, I feel like it wasn't that long ago. These were like 30 bucks. And then I think I was picking some of these up with TikTok coupons for like 18 shipped, which was kind of wild at the time. TikTok coupons were a whole thing. If you if you were there, you know. But 31% growth uh, in the past three months. We'll zoom out to the one year here. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, these were $28 last year in December. And they've just steadily climbed 68%. So that's really solid growth for the normal ETB, which isn't something I normally uh, invest in personally. I try to do booster boxes and Pokemon Center ETBs. They usually have better growth, but you can't really argue with that. Especially, like like I said, if you're getting these with TikTok coupons back in the day, those are really great prices. 
Um, yeah, so ETBs are doing well. The set is performing really well. The second most valuable in the card, ugh, second most valuable in the card, second most valuable card in the set is the Aerodactyl. Now, I realize that this isn't isn't the best card or the most popular Pokemon, but artwork-wise, I do agree that this is a very stunning card. I love all the Pokemon in the background. Any card that has that, I'm usually a sucker for. He's flying over. Not the most po popular Pokemon from Gen 1, but I think popular enough. Decent little card. Um, this was over $100 for a while. It's down, in the last three months, it's down 2%. On the one-year chart, it had a big run-up as well. It went from like the 80s up to like 130, 140. And it's really kind of came down off of that, but it is setting a, a higher low here at around just under $100. It'd be really nice to see this card crack 100. So that's kind of where Lost Origin kind of gets knocked. And I understand that. You go from the Giratina, which is like 400 raw now pretty much, to the Aerodactyl. And I, I totally understand it. But, you know, not every... If we look at some other sets, usually if you got one good chase card, you, the set's good enough. However, I think this set is deeper. Some of the cards are just overlooked, and we're going to get a little bit into that right now. So the Pikachu VMAX, this is from the Trainer Gallery. I feel like it doesn't get, these Trainer Gallery cards don't get talked about enough. So we got an amazing Giratina card, it got an Aerodactyl, Pikachu VMAX, which this card's doing really well. Surging Sparks probably bringing that price up, not really surprising. 32% up in the past three months alone. And the one month chart showing 20% growth, so... That's some pretty good growth. In the last month, it went from 34 to 41. See what the one-year chart looks like. So it's not at its one-year high. Similar thing, it had a big run-up here in May, April, May. It went up to about 50 bucks. It's come down off of that. But before, the low was $28. So we're we're well above that $28 point now. So we got Pikachu VMAX, which I think this card is super cool. He's all huge. He's got the trainer here. And, you know, this is um, kind of an example of possibly what we're going to see from the new like trainer set that's coming out, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, this is what I would like to see personally. I like when you see the trainer on the card with like with them together versus like back in the day, some of the trainer, like the gym cards and stuff, you just had like the little stamp of the trainer. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna get uh, from that set moving forward, but um, I, I kind of prefer when the trainer's in the card as well. So we have a Pikachu VMAX, which is you know coming up in price in the $40 range. Uh, last solds, did I touch on last solds? 37, 41. There's a 48 within 30 sets. So it's kind of bouncing all around like high 30s to high 40s range. So we'll see where this card ends up. Then we have the Pikachu V. S same, similar thing. I absolutely love this card. Between the, the V and the V Max, I actually like the V more. This card's not as expensive. It's only $25 right now. It's up 7% in the past three months and 7% in the past month. Let's see what the one year chart looks like. Mm. Kind of the same thing. This is going to be a common theme. It ran up to around 30 bucks, went back down to 20, and now it's back up to 25. Looks like the lowest you could have got this card in the past year was $19. So if you went from 19 up to 25, that's a pretty solid gain. So we have two, in my opinion, really great Pikachu cards. Still probably undervalued. I, I would like to see these a little bit higher with how expensive these booster boxes are, but I understand they can't all they can't all be big cards, right? I would like to see these. These two Pikachus are really nice. Then we did talk about this card in a very recent video, and that's kind of what got me thinking. I, I When I pulled this up, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. This is in Lost Origin. While this card has huge percentage gains, it's up 52%. They had the market price at around $6. Most recent sold six, four, seven, six, seven, eight, eight. This is a Charizard card with great artwork, with a popular character from the game. Uh, I can't remember his name. Off the, this is like the brother of the guy, right? Yeah, it is. I played the game. Come on. <laughs> um, can't remember his name, though. But this is... So we have multiple Pikachu cards. We have an Aerodactyl, a Giratina, and we have a Charizard card, which is great artwork. It's just not... It's easy to pull because it's in the trainer gallery. It's not particularly very expensive, but that doesn't... In my opinion, that doesn't take away from the set. Then we have... Uh, so, right, Charizard. Then we have a Gengar. The Gengar is from Lost Origin as well. Now... Not the best Gengar card, in my opinion, but he's chilling, he's happy. They're doing a fire, they're cooking some stuff. Same thing with the Charizard. It's up 43% in the past three months. It's at $6. Last sold's $5.4, $5.90, $5.90, $5.90, $8.90. So prices are a little bit all over the place. Easy to pull. And, you know, something looking back at these cards is the yellow borders. You know, I used to 
like the yellow borders, but I'm really glad we switched away from them. I just don't like I don't like it on some of the cards, but that's not that's not really what this is about. Next card, we got another Pikachu. We got three Pikachu's. This card, artwork wise, I think is stunning. I once again, I'm a sucker for the the trainer cards. They're sleeping together. It's like, well, I'm a dog guy, right? So I know that Pikachu's not a dog, but I'm cuddling with my dog all the time, right? So maybe that's why I'm a little bit of a sucker for this card. But the Sleepy Chew, it's up. You know, this growth, once again, doesn't surprise me either because of Surging Sparks. 36% in the past three months. Zoom out to the one year. One year, it's at five. It's at its one year high at 552, tying its one year high. So that's nice to see as well. We got 475, but a 748 uh, recent sales, and then all out in the fives. So it'd be nice to see this card come up. There are 382 copies of this card currently on TCG Player, so not difficult to pull. All right, so we got Pikachu, Snorlax, Charizard. Oops, Snorlax, sorry, I said that a little too soon. Snorlax. Now, this probably isn't the best Snorlax card either. None of these cards are really the best versions of any of them, in my opinion, except for the, the Giratina and the Aerodactyl. But we got, a, we got a Snorlax card, another very popular Gen 1 Pokemon. This card's way too cheap, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of copies out here, and pull rates, you know, they matter. 420 copies available. This one's up 28% in the past three months. On the one-year chart, it looks like 261 was the one-year high. So it's not too far away uh, dollar-wise. It's just cents away from that. But we have a nice Snorlax card. So in summary, there's other cards in this set as well that I do like. And we'll talk about that in a second. But we have the Giratina, the Aerodactyl, three Pikachus, a Charizard, a Gengar, and a Snorlax. So when you start to look at the Pokemon, like it's a pretty stacked set as far as Pokemon go. Um, we'll take a look at, so this is the overall um, like set list here. Obviously, we talked about these ones. I did not talk about the, the Rotom. Now that is an alternate art. And I think that Pokemon, I don't know how popular that Pokemon is. I mean, they got like the, Ro the Rotom phones in the anime and stuff now. So yeah, I don't know. It's I, I think this one's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, obviously, if you pull an alt art, you don't want it to be the Rotom. You want it to be one of these two. But um, we got a gold Giratina, which is nice. We got a few rainbows. I'm not the biggest fan of these style of rainbows. Um, oh, I forgot this. Okay, so Mew. Mew is in the set. Okay. This is, I, I, uh, you know, I understand it's one of these gold cards, but these cards have actually grown on me. There's another Pikachu. Okay, so we have multiple, multiple Pikachus, black and gold. We got the Mew. It's got the Fusion Strike little stamp on it. Um, let's see, Charizard, like I said, the Gengar. And there's a few more, and I, they're lesser cards, and I understand that, but we're gonna just take a look at them. Okay, so I'll pull this up for a second. So like, for example, this card, while I think the art of this, this card's like popping. I think this card's great looking. It's, you know, not a very expensive card. A lot of these lesser cards are, but this card's cool. This card's stunning. This is an Arita artwork. Uh, Eternatus VMAX. I think it's I think it's cool, right? I don't know if I'm just biased or like fan fanboying out on this set. Um, Crobat, this Crobat card here, I like as well. You know, um, some you know I skip over some of these other trainers. Now, I've talked about these. It's been a while since I've talked about these, but I'm just talking. I'm just gonna pull these cards up real quick just to look at artwork wise. This Orbeetle with this trainer, once again, I just like this card. I like this, the colors, everything going on. Th these are lesser cards, I get it, right? I like this card too. This is, you know, this lady kind of looks like that, kind of looks like that Resident Evil lady, the big tall one, a little bit. Maybe it's just the hat. We got Gallade here, which I like this card as well. The Centiscorch, um, this is one of the trainers from the Sword and Shield game too, right, I believe. Uh, Kai something. I can't remember his name. Let me know in the comments. All right. I will stop pulling these up, but right. I, I just, I think that there's some decent, like lesser cards in the set. Let me know what you guys think. Like, do you guys agree? Am I crazy? We got another Eternatus V. Like I really like this card as well. You know, and then I skip over some of these, this Orbeetle is cool too. Uh, I think I have this card. I got both of the center scorch cards. Same thing with the, with the trainer. And that's kind of where it ends for me. So, you know, I'm, I don't think this Orbeetle V right here is gonna, it's $1.86. I don't think it's gonna, 
I don't think it's going to be very crazy. I don't think it's going to, I'm not saying it's going to be wild. Uh, most of my point was not about these lesser cards, but I do like those cards. I think they look nice, right? They don't have to be, they don't have to be popular Pokemon to have some nice looking cards. But in summary, <laughs> I got a little off on the other cards. Just wanted to give them some attention, right? Like the Eternatus Arita card. I think that's a nice looking card. Um, but in summary, I think that Lost Origin, the booster boxes, I don't know the time frame. I can't tell you the time frame because the, nobody knows. The market's wild. It could be sooner. It could be longer. Like who knows? I could. I Lost Origin is going to be a four or five hundred dollar box, in my opinion. It has to be. It's just a matter of time, and that's why I, I you know, I just bring this up because I think that this. Even with the lesser cards, this set is better than people think. While I understand the Giratina is heavily carrying the set, especially dollar-wise, can't argue that. But there's a lot of good Pokemon in this set. I, you know, I forgot about the Mew. There's so many Pikachu, Charizard, Gengar, Snorlax. Like, this is a really great set. And I just wanted to, just wanted to bring that up before you know this box goes wild. At least I, I, I made this video. I said my piece about it. It is, hmm, it is my favorite set from from overall from sword and shield the era not that i don't like evolving skies um you know and I've, i like brilliant stars as well i love that charizard uh you know brilliant stars has a good trainer gallery as well in my opinion they got some evolutions in there and stuff but lost origin just really when i look at it, it stands out to me as a really great set um boxes are doing well s singles are doing well the whole market's doing well so that's like not a total surprise but this is just a fun set to open pull rates are hard except for the easier cards, and I, I get that, but this was my Lost Origin rant video. It's good. I think it's a good set. Um, yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below. I'd be interested to see. Um, also, there will be links in the description for Poke Notify. If you guys are interested in checking that out, there will be full links and everything in the description. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.